What is up plant homies, plomies? Welcome back to my channel. This is my very last plant haul of 2018. <laughs> Happy New Year, yay! Does anyone have any New Year's resolutions? I would prefer to call them intentions and one of mine is to maybe get some plants because your girl has about one, two, three, six, seven, eight eight plants there is no need for anyone to go to get this many plants in like two weeks <laughs> but you know what when you're plant shopping for your friends it's okay to pick up one for you tis the season or twas the season so anyways let's just get started if you want to see this huge plant haul that i have for the last haul of 2018 keep on watching hey guys what's up if we're just first meeting hi my name is sharina so let's just get started First plant I want to show you. It's my favorite right now. Don't tell the other plants. Okay, but it is the Philodendron Hestatum, aka the Philodendron Silver Sword, because hello, it kind of looks like a little sword. Like, why did I do that? It does have the sword like leaves, and if you look at the color, you cannot help but notice the beautiful metallic greenish silver sheen. Ooh, bird just flew by like a big one. I love the sheen of this. It is so beautiful. She is in a 10 inch pot. Ew, that's so ugly. I don't even want to show you what the nursery pot looks like. So I don't see that ugly nursery pot. I put her in a basket for now. They didn't even really try to make it look pretty, but it doesn't matter, I know, because she's beautiful regardless. But I kind of do want to make it a little bit a better of an arrangement or maybe separate it into different pots. She is beautiful. The color and the texture, I am really starting to get into really different textures philodendrons are so easy they've survived i got multiple ones in my house and they've just been amazing and super easy to care for and since we're on the philodendron king let me get the next one. Oh my god hi look how beautiful and how delicate this one is this is the philodendron micans okay story time this is my second one i had one about four months ago that i ordered from etsy and i potted her up right away and didn't do too well but i have another one look how beautiful we've got so much new growth right up there and don't you love how it's kind of like different colors some of them are more green than the others and in the back is kind of like a different color kind of like that evil plant calatheas i'm just kidding they're not evil we'll talk about calatheas in a different video this is so gorgeous like i said i'm really getting into different textures and different colors oh, it just like feels like butter it's probably not good Ooh, and i read somewhere that touching plants are bad sorry really i want to get her up close to you these are new plants so um i've asked around and they've mentioned that these guys are so easy and so low maintenance but i am going from my last experience with my first my skin so i don't know hopefully this one is going to survive how to survive but i have her in more humidity and grouped up with other plants that need more humidity so let's move on to the next one here's another one that i think i left out i'm not even sure if i included it in the haul but i'm gonna insert it right now philodendron florida beauty bullwinkle i I'm going to be honest, I have no clue. Please tell me if you've seen this or if you know what this is called because I'm looking and it's not quite the same. It kind of looks like the philodendron hestatum. I'm so confused with this one, but it is a philodendron. I love the unique shape of the leaves, right? I don't have this. Please tell me if you know what this is called. I can't believe I left you out. I am so sorry. Okay, back to the whole entire haul. Speaking of textures and colors, hold on, let me get him. Look at this beautiful, Peperomia scandens, the green one, because there is another kind. This is so gorgeous. I wish the camera can pick up the, if you look, hello. It's got a little bit of a pattern, kind of like a veiny, veiny effect to the leaves. And on the corners of the leaves, it's like, it's like a little fuzzy. This is a Peperomia, so it's thick hearty you can see the price tag and the best part i got this for five dollars at the flea market okay and i just love how glossy this one is it's kind of like like i wiped her with leaf shine do you guys use leaf shine I use it a couple times sorry but it's kind of like i use it on this one and she's just like glossy you know it's just so gorgeous okay i'm gonna put her back and since we are on the pepperomia cake let me introduce you to her sister and this is the Cupid Peperomia plant, or looks like an Enjoy, right? Also for $5. Okay, so when I first got her, I thought it was an Enjoy at first until I felt the leaves because the leaves are thicker and it's kind of a different texture. It's kind of almost like waxy. 
like a peperomia. So the leaves are thicker. If you have a pothos enjoy, you know that their leaves are a little thinner and they're more glossy. Okay, I'm gonna sit down. I don't know why I was standing. Um, she's got some bruising and I believe maybe because this room is a little bit cold, so maybe she's not really liking it so much. <sighs> But since she's variegated, she's gonna need a little bit more light. So I have her placed right here with a lot of light in this room. So I've got her sitting right here with a window and a window right there, girl. She's even got a little bit of a silver sheen to her if you look closely. Okay, the next one I'm so excited about. You guys know, if you guys have been watching me for a while, how much I love Hoyas because they're easy, they're gorgeous. Oh, I, there's just something about Hoyas. Something about the Hoyas. If you've seen my Hoya haul, you know that I already have one of these. This is the Hoya Obovada. My other Hoya is not trailing quite as long, but oh my gosh, one thing that really stood out to me about this Hoya was the speckles on it. Kind of reminds me of the Hoya pink silver, the pink silver splash, because it's got the pink splashes. Hopefully the camera can match, it kind of matches my sweater, right? Like, so can you see that this one has so much variegation, so much speckles? I've never seen a Hoya Obovada with this much markings, and it is so cute. Have you seen it anywhere like this? Also, a lot of the ones I see are not trailing quite yet. So this is the best one I've seen so far. I just cannot get over how beautiful this Hoya is. So let's get the next one. It's another Hoya, okay? Don't get mad that I have another Hoya. I can't help myself. I have a New Year's resolution. Stop buying plants. So we've got the Hoya Karia. The variegated version. I always thought it was an urban myth that they don't exist or you don't see them out. I've seen these variegated Hoyas. They have one single leaf in a little like two inch pot and they're sold for like twelve dollars like no oh yes bring me joy love the heart shape of this one also known as a sweetheart sweetheart plan because obviously you know heart shaped and let's move on to the next one okay the next one kind of like a new year's theme because in some cultures new year's eve or new year's in general has been known to bring good fortune and i want some of that because i need it okay to help bring that good fortune into my household, I got another money tree, Pachira Aquatica. Look at the girth on him. So my other money tree is a tall one and it's braided, super cool. He's got so many new shoots coming out. I thought it was kind of variegated. I think the leaves just burned. So hopefully you bring me some good fortune and you bring me some more money. That was it. Thank you guys for watching that haul. Leave me a comment. Let me know which one of these plants that you have and how they've been in your household since they're new to me. Again, thank you for being part of the Plomi community. If you've always thought about doing something that kind of gets you out of your comfort zone, a little bit scared of what people may think, just do it. Honestly, they're more worried about themselves than you. For years, I've always wanted to make videos and just share, but I was always scared of what people would think. And honestly, like who cares? So get creative do something for you so seeing how it's inspired some friends and family members at least something that i was really happy about hopefully that's brought a little bit of new year encouragement for you like subscribe you know if you want to see more videos like this happy new year